Hello, everyone. We're going to wait a few moments to uh, make sure everyone gets on correctly. We're already at, at about 200. Quite nice. Meanwhile, I'm going to just read to you some of the rules of the game here uh, to make sure you get the full experience. Um, make sure your computer sound is on, of course, so you can hear what we're saying. You are able to react and ask questions in real time on the chat on the right of your screen, and we will try to answer live as much as possible during the Q&A session um, or at the end of the, uh, during the presentation or at the end of the presentation. And please stick around. Uh, anyone who participates in this conference will be the lucky winner of a, a drawing for two for a cruise uh, on one of our ships. So, uh, you know, we, we, we want you to experience the Ponant moments and to become a Ponant ambassador. If during the course of this presentation you have trouble with sound or image, you can please just hit the reconnect button at the top of your screen and that should get you back into the should get you back into the uh, conference. So let's wait just another minute or so, and then I will uh, start the conference and introduce myself and introduce my colleagues and say a few words to you. Okay. Good afternoon to all, and thank you for taking the time to join us during this season. My name is Stephen Winter, and I am the International Sales Director for Ponant. First off, all of us here at Ponant sincerely hope that you and your loved ones are healthy during this unprecedented crisis that has affected us all. If we at Ponant have been successful at all over the years, it is only because of the support of our clients and trade partners such as yourself. And for that, we are very grateful. 2020 has been our most challenging year ever. Despite this, we remain optimistic about the future of cruising, especially in smaller ships. We were one of the first companies in the world to get back in the water this past summer and fall, operating over 70 cruises safely and in style. As this very particular year comes to an end, we are glad today to be able to share with you the biggest, our, mo our biggest and most exciting project to date, the Commander Sharko, the ultimate polar adventure. You will very shortly hear from my dear colleagues, first of all, Sarah De Weert, who is our opponent ambassador and relationships manager on board. Sarah has sailed with us for many years and knows exactly the experience of our clients and guests aboard the ships. And she also will be joined by Nicolas Duray, who, is, who oversees our expedition teams and is a man with a great passion for discovery, adventure, and sustainable tourism. I hope you very much enjoy learning about this new ship, and we hope to see you all aboard very soon. Thank you very much, Stefan. Hello to all of you. Nice to meet you. I can see there is a lot of people from all over the world. That's quite impressive. Um, so, um, I'm Sarah, and today I will uh, present uh, Le Commandant Charcot with uh, Nicolas. So, uh, Stephen did introduce uh, us uh, quite uh, well. So, I would like to um, talk to you about uh, what's going to happen in the next uh, uh, 45 minutes. So, we will leave, leave you, of course, uh, you have the chat on the side in order to ask uh, any question you may have. And we do have a team answering those questions um, for you. So today we're going to talk about uh, the, the ultimate polar adventure on board Le Commandant Charcot. We're going to present you quickly uh, what is Ponant, what is an expedition with Ponant. As well, we're going to present you the itinerary, which is mainly, of course, Arctic and Antarctica with Le Commandant Charcot. All the activities that you will be able to enjoy on board. And then it will be followed by your live question and answers. Uh, we might not be able to answer all your questions live, but please make sure they will be answered. And you will have um, the answer to all the questions tomorrow when you will uh, receive the replay of this live, because you will receive the replay. 
as well as all the answers from your questions. Just as a reminder again, if in case your connection cuts, you do have a reconnect button. Do not hesitate to press it. Uh, if in case you could not uh, see us or hear us anymore. So just to present to um, all of you the world uh, Pono and its expedition. So Pono, it's um, a luxury luxury fleet with uh, 13 uh, small yachts uh, within uh, next year. So in a, in a few weeks, we are certified Green Vessel Award. And each year we are doing more than 400 cruise, cruises covering over the 100 countries. And we are well known for our expedition cruise. That's what we are actually quite well known for um, all over the world. Uh, we have small ships, so that really allow us to go uh, where the others do not go uh, in mythical ports, uh, but as well unusual destinations. So that's what's make the difference as well. Um, on board, you do have all the comfort of a luxury hotel with uh, a staff. I would like as well to really insist that uh, any ship, any destination, it is a bilingual uh, staff and crew members you have on board. Uh, they are not only French, they are from all over the world, but therefore they all speak French and English and all the announcement, the daily program, uh, anything happening on board, even the captain uh, do speak English and the cruise in is two languages. Um, we do have uh, on board some uh, boutique, we have a spa as well, so you can bring some nice souvenir if in case you forgot something from your home, you may find some um, spare products in our boutique. It's an all-inclusive cruise as well in terms of open bar except premium. So basically, specifically if you go in uh, Arctica and Antarctica, where main of our um, our journey, the flight is included from Paris to the final destination where the ship is, um, it's uh, all included. So really the extra you will get is the little souvenir from the boutique or if you want a massage at the spa. Um, it's as well the French touch and the French way of life uh, regarding uh, the refined gastronomy. We are working with uh, Ducasse now, uh, Alain Ducasse uh, Conseil since few years. So you do have a, a beautiful cuisine uh, on board that you may enjoy. And we do have two restaurants and it's not like any other uh, huge ships. Uh, all our restaurants, you know, they have full capacity. You don't need to book. You can go for dinner, lunch, breakfast um, at the time you wish. You can eat the two of, of you if you are in a, a lovely trip or with your family. It's open seating as well. And you do have included, for example, the full uh, the room service. Uh, 24 hours. So that to give you a little overview of um, the life uh, on board, as well when you're doing an expedition with uh, Pono or with Le Commandant Charcot, you do have on board, a com uh, on board you receive a complimentary um, uh, jacket, warm jacket that you uh, you may use during your trip. And as well, you will have some boots that uh, they, are, they will stay on board, but you do have as well some warm boots in order to uh, enjoy shoreside. So this uh, this is a little recap of who is our clientele. Uh, once again, if you do not uh, know Pono, so we do have uh, from 40 to 80 years old, old couple, single travelers as well. We do have uh, quite few. Uh, you may check online as well. We always have a nice uh, uh, discount and opportunity for single travelers to uh, travel with us. Uh, with some, um, with no, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, with a complimentary uh, single uh, rate. Uh, we do have over 50% of English speakers on board, so the crew as well as I was telling you, and a five-star culture and relaxation. So I hope this gave you a great uh, idea about who is Ponant um, and what are we offering. But now let's focus on Le Commandant Cherco, so our latest ships of the company, and I will leave the lead to Nicola, who is really since the beginning of this uh, of this ship since uh, the the project started in 2016 is in um, in the projects thank you very much thank you sarah so ellen i am uh, nicola dubreuil i'm in charge of the sustainability and i'm uh, expert on uh, polar and tropical uh, expedition for ponant 
that you hear me well uh, because I have a very bad connection. Uh, it's because I'm coming from a very old country. I'm from France and I have a very bad connection. I do my best, but I hope that you will hear me very well. And uh, okay, thank you, Sarah. And if you feel that I have a very um, strange accent, I beg your pardon and I cannot blame internet. It's because I'm French. So, um, first of all, I will tell you about the commandant, our uh, new uh, ship, who will be able to go on very special place. And I love this, uh, this slide because with the commandant Charcot, I mean, I don't know who you are and if you have done already an expedition cruise, if you have done even a simple cruise, but now we are going on a higher level than expedition. With the Commandant Charcot, we will go on the exploration cruise. As you can see on, the, on this picture, we will take you to give you an idea. This is where all the ships stop, usually. You know, all the expedition cruise ships, they stop here. And you can left side of the slide, the small footprint, a small let's say. It, it's a polar bear, but uh, it's, it's not so small. Uh, it's the size uh, of this. And, um, but that show you how powerful it is to be on board the Commandant Charcot, because that will allow you to go deep inside uh, this, uh, this sea ice. So we go far away and we go on uh, exploration. And that's, that's a very big uh, the big point. The big question can be why? Why to do that? Why building a, a ship with able to go on the ice? And the question is because it's on our DNA. I mean, we have 30 years of experience. And of course, we try to understand why it's so interesting, why so many people come to us. And in fact, um, for me as an uh, expeditioner, the main interest of an expedition cruise is the pe pedagogic tool that is the cruise, that you will learn a lot on board the cruise. And with the Charcot, we will take you on place where so few people have been. And what is interesting for me is that you will be on a place where the nature, the wildlife, is so strong that you will go to your uh, to our uh, real moment is the best moment to learn and to understand what you have all around you. The ship, of course, and it's a very important talk about the ship because it's not a usual ship, uh, as you. Uh, have understood this ship first of all it got a very strong ice capacity and it's so important i don't know you but uh, when you listen the the news in france there is a let's say a kind of a false uh, information <coughs> because sorry because the fact is that uh, because there is this global warming all around the world who make the sea ice. The problem is that we have more mobility on the sea ice and it's more difficult to go on this far away place. So we need to have a stronger ship to go on this place, to be safe on the ice. And the main interest of Le Commandant Charcot is to be able to go safely very far on the ice. And of course, when I say uh, safely and uh, and very far, it's just PC2. Maybe it's that doesn't ring a bell to you, but uh, for example, the 50 years of victory, which is now the let's say the strongest uh, ship who takes some passenger on the on the ice, is and as you can see, we are uh, this uh, 50 years of victory. And we are very far away from usual, let's say, the usual uh, expedition cruise ship. 
And that will allow us to go very far, very deeply on the ice and to explore uh, different areas. It's a very big power. Uh, with a set power comes a big responsibility. And since the beginning, uh, the sustainability point of view was not a question. It was mandatory for us. We cannot have a such tool without thinking about the environment where we would go. So we have built uh, what kind of fuel we will use. And the idea came to use the gas, the liquefied gas, natural gas. So we work on LNG. We, of course, have dual engine. You know, uh, redundancy is uh, mandatory on this uh, kind of uh, environment. We have some batteries also with us to uh, work on electricity, and that will allow us to um, to be silenced, to, to, to be very... Because, I mean, I have been on this place so many times by ski, by dog sledge, by, uh, by foot also. And what is very strong when you are in uh, on the sea ice this is a silence so we need to have a really a with air. and that's also something very important for us for the marine wildlife we need to be the criteria of the comfort and the silence of the ship is very important and we build also i won't talk a lot here but uh, we have to build uh, our ice routing system to be able to go on the on the ice to manage to avoid critical areas for marine wildlife for example for seals for polar bear to not disturb them to be able to watch them but without any uh, impact on them so we build our own uh, ice routing system we build our own uh, polar survival equipment also to be able to make you survive five days on sea ice And um, so now the ship will have been uh, start to be built in uh, in November uh, 2018, and now uh, uh, the ship will be delivered the 30 of April 2021. So in some months the ship uh, will be finished. And as you can see on this picture, it's uh, also it's an explore, amazing exploration tool, but also a luxury ship. And I will let this part to my dear colleague, Sarah. Thank you very much, Nicola. I will indeed uh, bring you on board uh, this ship. So you will not see, obviously, the real images because she's still under construction. Um, however, here you do see the top floor. Maybe you can follow if you have the brochure of um, Le Commandant Charcot. So you are on deck nine uh, aft. And you may see the uh, top restaurants, so outside and inside, and you have a beautiful view on this blue lagoon. It's as well, it's like a wading pool. It's not uh, very deep, but it's in order to uh, enjoy the view in a warm bath uh, around this fireplace and this uh, beautiful restaurant and views. So that's the what we call the blue lagoon, like in Iceland. Uh, this is the view as well from the restaurant outside on the landscape to give you an idea how open and uh, how, how you can breathe and see the outside even when you are inside uh, sailing uh, in the ice. Here you have some pictures of our state rooms. So for those who, who know Pono, our uh, state rooms are a little bit bigger because you do have this area as a small living room. You may see as well downstairs, uh, downstairs, sorry, under the two, uh, the two pictures in the bottom, uh, the duplex suites. So we do have four of those duplex suites uh, on deck uh, six and seven. You have 80 square meters and uh, 26 square meters of terrace with a beautiful bus seeing the whole um, uh, landscape once again. I didn't mention at the beginning, sorry, but we do have 135 state rooms. So that's compared to the size of the ships, it's uh, really not a lot. And you will have a, a lot of spaces as well in the public area uh, for you to, um, to feel alone. 
On the next slide, so you may, you may see on the top left the main lounge. So that's uh, the main, we call it the main lounge because it's open uh, mainly from 6 a.m. until midnight or later, uh, the, where you may find a bar, a nice view as well. It will be situated on deck five, close to reception. You have on the right side, the two pictures, the observatory bar. So that one will be deck nine, but forward, just above the uh, the bridge. And as it's called the observatory lounge, you have an amazing view over 400 square meters of uh, of windows. So you, you feel outside even if you are um, inside. So that's really a, a privilege. We have two architects, well-known architects who worked on those design, uh, Villemotte. So I don't know if you heard of Villemotte, but probably you did. He's one of the architects, for example, who worked on, uh, on Notre Dame. And we have as well uh, Nuel, uh, Nuel who design uh, all our ships and they combine their to knowledge to create this beautiful atmosphere. And the picture on the left uh, bottom is the gastronomic restaurant. So uh, you may enjoy uh, the a la carte uh, lunch or dinner or even breakfast. You may, as I said earlier, really enjoy enjoy your, um, your, your, your dinner, breakfast or lunch, whenever, wh whatever restaurant you wish uh, to, to go. Here we are, we are more in the relax uh, area. So you do have an inside, uh, an inside pool, a heat, heated pool. Uh, on the right side, you can see a beautiful spa room with two, um, with a, a two massage table, the fitness center and something new as well, uh, on board our ship, a snow room. So in order to, um, to use some snow after a sauna, we have as well on this ship, we will have a cigar lounge. Uh, if you are a fan of cigar, I didn't mention it earlier, but of course we have different kind of sweets. One of them is the sweet armateur, la, la suite de l'armateur with uh, more than 115 square meters uh, inside the suite and 180 square meters of terrace for the armateur suite, which is, which takes literally all the aft of the ship uh, on one uh, deck. And here's some pictures. So the pictures, that's to show you where we are standing now. So I have to be honest with you. The right pictures are from now, I think three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So uh, we're getting there, but uh, maybe you can see some uh, comparison already. So on the, on the top, you have uh, the stateroom. The second, uh, the second one is the living, the main lounge. Sorry. And the last one, the theater, because we will have, of course, as well, a theater a business room in order for you to enjoy your conference on board because during this cruise as well, you will have um, around 15 uh, expedition team who will be able to come with you shore side, explain you what you're going to see, what you saw. If in case it was uh, unexpected, we're going to do uh, daily meetings to explain you um, what you saw as well during the day. But as well, some lectures about, uh, we have, um, specialists from, uh, different, uh, from different, uh, environments. So that's, uh, that's quite interesting as well when we are sailing. And that's all for, uh, the, uh, onboard, uh, parts. If you have any question, please do, uh, do ask them on the, on the bar. I hope uh, on the chat bar on the right. I hope you're all following us. Just as a reminder, if in case, the connection is cutting. Do not hesitate to press the reconnect red button. That will help you to, uh, to join again, uh, the conversation. And as a reminder as well, this will be sent tomorrow, uh, on a replay, but do stay until the end because we have a little surprise for you at the end of this, um, webinar. Now I will leave to, uh, Nicola to talk about, um, the two, uh, biggest itinerary that Le Commandant Charcot is offering. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Sorry. So I beg your pardon for the bad connection that I got. And um, I would talk to you about the itineraries. Of course, it's uh, polar in Arctic and Antarctic. Two destinations. And for the one who haven't been in these places, uh, just a very simply simple information, because often the people, they don't know how to choose. 
between Arctic and Antarctic. It's totally different. Even if it's a polar area, even if we think uh, that there is ice and, and, and that's it, it's totally different. And by just a simple uh, analogy that we can do is that the, the Arctic is a sea, the Arctic Ocean, surrounded by land. So that means that you will have lots of exchange in the, this sea and it's surrounded by land. So you will have lots of species, lots of biodiversity, but in small numbers because you got competition. And because there is land, there is people. So there is native people. And the Antarctic is exactly the opposite. It's a land very protected. So that means there is no native people, and there is few species, different species, whale, seal, penguins, but in huge numbers. So that's the big difference. And you have to choose or you have to do the both. And uh, to talk a little bit about the itineraries, the things that we will offer to you with the Commandant Charcot is to go, as I said at the beginning, deeply inside the ice. So that means that we will bring you, and I will take as an example this first uh, trip to the North Pole. We will be able to reach the North Pole. Even if you have uh, clearly, as I say, it's an exploration. It's uh, an exploration tool. It's an exploration ship. It's an e more than an expedition. It's an exploration. So everything will depend of the ice and the weather. So the first goal when we leave Longyearbyen, like this, is to go to the North Pole. And after that, when we will reach the North Pole, we will go down to Reykjavik. And if we have time, we will follow the northeast coast of Greenland. But the first goal is to reach the North Pole. And it's something quite incredible. And also something that you have to understand is that the ship will find its way in middle of the lead of the ice. So his move find his way. We will reach the North Pole. We will be at uh, um, 89 uh, degree 59 minutes. We celebrate it, but as soon as we will be there, the ice drift will take us away. So the North Pole is quite something difficult to catch but it's a unique experience and the trip on the ice with the commandant charcot will be something that you will remember forever it's like to be on the moon and especially with the charcot we have scientists on board i don't talk about the expedition team we have an expedition team of 20 people but we have also scientists on board who are doing academic science so they come here because there is no much ship who go uh, on, uh, on the North Pole. So they are here to deploy some beacon uh, on sea ice. And of course, we, you will be able to assist to their lecture, but also to help them if you'd like to. If you want to do citizen science, the naturalists will be there to help you and with the scientist. Another nice example of what we can do with the Commandant Charcot is the Northwest Passage. Now, for some of you, maybe you, you have been to the Northwest Passage and say, okay, but I have done that before. Things is that with the ice capacity of the Commandant Charcot, we will be able to go on all the historical places of uh, the Northwest Passage. So we will go on the Belo Strait, of course, but we will do also Fury and Eclat. We will go on the north of, uh, on the south, sorry, of Ellesmere Island. We will do, go on the north of Banks Island. So we'll go on this place where so many explorers have been and which are now very difficult to reach. Another uh, new itinerary is that it's very strong for me. We will go very early in the season on the east coast, north east coast of Greenland, this amazing national park, huge national park, the biggest on earth. And we will take time to meet 
in Itokotomiut or in Amasalik or Unnartok, in all this area of the scores be sound. And that will be something because we already scout the place with them, check with them, and we'll offer you to meet them and to do dog sledging with them. So what kind of amazing things to get out of the ship and jump on board a sledge. So this is for the Arctic and for the Antarctic, the thing is a little bit different because you know and you understand, I'm sure that the media, you know, the, the sea ice of the Arctic is uh, shrinking, okay? But in each winter, she's growing. In summer, still sea ice on the place. In the Antarctic, it's a little bit different because almost all the sea ice disappear in uh, in the summer, the austral sim, uh, summer season. And you will discover that with Le Commandant Charcot, we will be able to go on place where there is less people who have been than people who have been to the moon, which is quite incredible and quite unique. Same thing, when we go on place like this, we are here, all the naturalist team is here, that our impact is minimal and transitory. One first uh, example, one first itinerary is to go to see the eclipse. You know that there is an eclipse 21 in December 4th. And uh, it's difficult to go. It's in Antarctica and uh, it's quite um, uh, far away from the easiest part of Antarctica, the Antarctic Peninsula. But we will be able, with the Commandant Charcot, to go inside the Willey Sea and to observe eclipse from the sea ice. So it's quite unique because we will be able to see the total eclipse and from uh, the sea ice. And after that, we will be able to go to the Larsen Ice Shelf. And I'm sure also that you hear some information uh, about the A68, 68A iceberg, the biggest iceberg in the world, who is drift, drifting now and the, he will reach the South Georgia soon. It's very close to South Georgia. And this huge iceberg come from Larsen Sea. So we'll be able to go on this kind of place. And of course, I mean, it's no one can talk about Antarctica without talking about Emperor penguins. We will go with the Commandant Charcot on uh, scientist is that we will be able to go on place where the rookery have only been seen from space. We, we know that they are here, but we have only picture taken from the satellites. So we come and we bring uh, scientists with us to check and to count uh, the penguins. So if you want to come to count penguins, please join us and you will help us. <laughs> So, and uh, some, uh, also the activities, because we are on a, on a nice, uh, on, a, on, a, on a ship, we we'll go to explore on sea ice, but we'll be able also to do lots of activities. And that's the goal for me regarding my experience. The luxury part of the ship is what you do outside of the ship, what you do next after uh, exploration, after uh, viewing whales, seals from the ship is how you be able to go. So we organize some activities uh, like uh, snow fishing. Uh, we use overcraft, you know, instead of helicopter to have a minimal impact. Dog sledge in the Arctic, hiking, polar diving, of course, the zodiac, the kayak, and don't forget the citizen science. And it's something very important to uh, be able, as a, as a passenger, you will be able and you will be involved if you want to do real science and to help the science with uh, all the citizen science program. I'm sorry because I think I uh, just step on your feet, uh, Sarah. No, it's fine. You were so like into it. I liked you and anyway, I have a yeah. such a good connection as well. So I'm, I was gone. <laughs> My head was gone. So no, no, but definitely I think, uh, I mean, you know, more than anybody else, those, um, those beautiful activities. And on top of that, 
you know, as I said earlier, they will be as well. What when can we call activities as well on board, such as the lectures, the science, as you said as well, and all um, like on board as well. You know, I, I forgot to mention earlier, we're going to have um, a promenade, so you will be able as well to walk around the ship and uh, and enjoy as well all this, um, the polar bear or the the penguins, anything we, we're going to see. So that's as well part of these activities and this uh, journey, if I may just add. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you continue, perhaps. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I <laughs> shut down my microphone. Uh, so that's that's uh, an example of what you will do, be able to do and participate as uh, as citizen science. I mean, it's not a joke. I mean, we will bring real scientists, and we will have. A, it's more than a than a, than a trip is a mission because you will be involved, and we have to deploy some. A boy, some beacon, all uh, these uh, these places. And your part. I, <laughs> that's my part. <laughs> um, so just uh, to go really quickly about the the relaxed booking condition we have, of course, following the the worldwide situation, we adapt our uh, booking condition in order for you to uh, to book and uh, start to dream and to be part uh, of this uh, journey for life change so just to let you know um for any new cruise booked between november 25th to january 31st so uh, until uh, at the end of, of next month and for any departure until april 2022 so a year and a half ahead you just have to go for a 25% deposit and then uh, take care of the final payment only one month before departure. And of course, if the cruise cannot be uh, operated uh, due to a uh, corona situation, for example, uh, you will get a full refund. So that's, um, I think that's very important uh, for us to share it to you. So that could be a nice Christmas gift as well, because Christmas is around the corner. So uh, why not plan your next Christmas or summer uh, on board Le Commandant Charcot? So um, this, uh, I think we, we, we can uh, conclude this uh, webinar before answering a few questions. It's definitely a journey where you will become transformed. I think the, the goal, the main goal of, of, of this, uh, to travel with Spona in expedition and on board uh, Le Commandant Charcot, it's for you to be a witness of what's happening where you never been in order to protect even more as well our our earth and planet it's a really a 100% immersion you will become uh, changed for sure um even as i did as a crew member you know i was uh, when i started i was just like a a, a normal person uh, working in hospitality and then i feel completely different now i experience to go in antarctica or, or, or arctica you know after a few days when you saw uh, three or sometimes one day i saw 40 polar bears i mean you know how lucky you are to to experience uh, this so that's i think uh, uh, the goal uh, for sure, of uh, Le Commandant Charcot and Ponant to bring you where the others can't go. This is some uh, um, phone numbers. I mean, you can find them online on, on our website, on the brochure if you have. Very important as well is if you are clients or future clients and you're used to go through your travel agencies, please go through your travel agencies. They do have all the documentation or they know where to find them. So do not hesitate to to go through, uh, with them. We are working together with the travel agencies, uh, and that's uh, uh, very important as well to to all of us. So we do have some questions. If you are ready, um, do you have any? So if you have more questions, uh, please do not hesitate to put them in the chat bar because we can we will answer them even uh, tomorrow. As a reminder, you will receive uh, tomorrow the replay and the answer to all uh, of your questions. Nicola, any questions? Perhaps you you saw that uh, yeah you would like to answer, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I will start and I will. Uh, I'm very talkative. <laughs> and uh, is it guaranteed that we will reach 90 degrees? That's a very good question. We will do, we have done, we will do everything to be able to reach it, but it's not possible to guarantee. 
And that's very important to understand. And even if uh, I'm pretty sure that's not the marketing, uh, they, they will hate me. But you have to understand that it's an exploration. And we go on place where there are so few people who have been. It's uh, uh, lucky. And even if you don't succeed to go on the top, on the, on the end of the 90 degree, but we, you will be close and it's already a big chance. So we, of course, I'm confident, let's say at 99, 99% that we go, but it's not possible to guarantee it. Some advice, if it's your first time to polar regions, um, some advice, Maybe, Sarah, you can answer this question more than yeah, me. of course. Uh, well, it, it was so long time ago. <laughs> I was so young. But, yeah, I mean, if it's your first time to Polar Region, uh, Pono is preparing you as well. And you can find some advice on the website of what to bring, what to wear. That's most of the common questions we receive. Um, it's basically like if you were going for skiing. Uh, you know, you put some um, under 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 clothes, but then as I told you, you have a, a warm parka offered on board with Le Commandant Charcot names on it. Um, so in terms of, of clothes, that's most of the question that um, we received. After just enjoy the trip, you know, don't even, I mean, take some pictures, but don't even bother to waste your time. Just enjoy with your eyes because we do have on board a team of photo video. Just grab your DVD and a souvenir at the end of the cruise, but just enjoy every every single uh, moment that's for sure um but then uh, we have as well some most of the question we have sometimes uh probably it came as well is how extreme the conditions will be like how cold it will be nico do you want to um reassure or not <laughs> our yeah passengers? No, I'm, I'm sorry because that that's get that gets a lot uh, for me but uh, i have this question how fit and sporty yeah. Sorry. Uh, how fit and sporty must you be for expedition cruising? And that, that's a very good question. That means that when we offer you to disembark on a place, when we offer you to a hike, you will have level. You will have a um, hike level zero for the people who are not able to walk a lot. You will have a hike level one for the people who wants to walk a little, and you will have a hike level two for the ones who really wants to hike. So we will adapt ourselves, and even if you are on a wheelchair, please come, because yeah. we will take care of you, and we'll adapt uh, to all of this. And the question... Um, and for sure, I mean, Nicole, if, if I may add, like, we saw some people, I mean, we, we used to sell together, we saw some people, they were literally in the wheeling chair, you know, uh, and we just put them in a zodiac we attach the wheelchair and then they go and they enjoy so really don't stop yourself just if you have you know a bad knee or some uh, i don't know you, you just you need to trust us on that and really you can enjoy your this journey for sure yeah how on um, the question how extreme the conditions will be and uh, that will be more extreme than on a regular expedition cruise because you will have you can have minus 15 degree the ship is built to be able uh, to walk on minus 20 Celsius. you won't have this but be ready uh, ready if that happens that you have minus 15 degree so you need to yourself with the but as sarah explained we have good clothing and uh, and the ship is equipped for that so you will have uh, warm stuff and everything and as as you say i got a question as an explorer have you ever dreamed about such trip i dream a lot about kind of trip and to be completely honest i dream a lot and but I was always, uh, I cannot take my parents uh, on board uh, with me or by ski or by, by dog, dog sledge. And that comes true with these tools. This tool, the Commandant Charcot, allow me to bring anyone, even 
someone in a wheelchair. And I'm very proud about that. Mm. And you can. <laughs> so I'm just going to, uh, there is a lot, a lot of, of questions coming, but please, uh, we're going to stay online one or two more minutes. I mean, after that, it's not too late. You can, of course, call us, call your travel agency. Uh, but please place your questions in the chat bar and we will answer um, by tomorrow, writing answer uh, to your questions. Uh, so thank you, of course, to all of you for your participation, uh, for your time from all over the world as well. I don't know if you saw, Nicola, but you, we had a uh, US, Switzerland, Netherlands, uh, India, we had K Caribbean as well. So we are, well, we are known worldwide now. What can we do? Um, so to thank you for this uh, unique participation. We are very pleased to offer you a 10% discount uh, on any new booking you're going to do from today. Uh, and it's um, available for one month. So until the 16th of January 2021. So if you wish to book your next cruise, this is, of course, uh, valid on your on the Commodore Chaco cruise or any other destination. And as well, because you were part of um, of this chat tomorrow we will do a withdraw and we're going to have one of you will win a surprise yachting cruise for two so we will call the winner so unfortunately if we don't call you uh you didn't win but you won already the 10 percent discount let's be fair um as i told you earlier from tomorrow afternoon you will be able to watch again this uh conference uh, as a um, via video replay and you will receive some answer to your questions and we will have another uh, webinar coming soon. So stay tuned on our social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and you will, uh, you will, get, you will hear from us very soon. So happy holidays, happy end of year, of year. Hopefully next year it will be a new year where we can travel and, um, <laughs> and be healthy. And thank you to all of you. Thank you for Stephen who took the, um, uh, the uh, we'll talk at the beginning of this webinar and thank you to, to you Nicola for your time thank you thank you to all of you and Merry Christmas yes bye bye <laughs>